What's going on, good people? I uh, hope you guys are doing well today. Welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel 3. It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer. We are on, I think, June 11th. Yeah, June 11th on our free day. Where now we're going to get ready to get started on some of the bonding events. Um, I think Kurt is over here. So let's start with Kurt. Uh, you have five today. And um, you have two here. And you look at the map. Kurt's there. One for Yuna and one for Muse. This, like I said, this one out of all the uh, Trails games was very uh, precise in how they they doled out the uh, the bonding events, and like that's what that's what made this one so easy to get everything on the first go. So let's talk to Kurt and let's get it started. Man, what's taking them so long? Ugh, I'm starting to get nervous. We haven't even started yet. Calm down. Easier said than done. Kurt and Sydney, are you two waiting for someone? Yes, actually, we arranged a chess match with opponents from outside the school. Well, I suppose outside the school isn't technically correct. Huh? Don't worry, Instructor Ring. No matter who our opponents are, we'll give it everything we've got. A chess match, huh? There's something he's not telling me. Alright. Hi, Kurt. Would it be all right if I watch the match? If we got outside visitors, it's my responsibility as an instructor to greet them after all. Well, oh heck yeah. It'd be a huge relief uh, to have you there instructing. Because our opponents are. It seems we kept you waiting. Aiden Fritz. Those uniforms are from the main campus. Oh. Is that instructor Schwarzer I spy there? A pleasure to see you again. Thank you for having us uh, for your Panzer Soldat training. Yeah, we gave y'all ass that hot L. That's what it was. Ah, that's right. You two were the, uh, you were the two that came with Prince Cedric. So does that mean you're Kurt and Sydney's opponents for today? Hey, I mean, dang, they ain't had to go off under the girl's skirt. Very on the slick this game. It's... I am Ada of the main campus's class one. Okay. I'm Fritz, also from class one. A pleasure, Instructor Schwarzer. Now guide us to the chess room, would you? Sure thing, just follow me and please watch your step, Miss Cool Beauty. <laughs> that dude right there is lame as hell. <laughs> yeah, this game is very on the slick how the, how the, the girls with the skirts and then they just throw in like Shirley fondling the chick and oh you gotta be real careful when you run it if you run in like with like Yuna. If you run and you tilt the camera the wrong way, you can literally see under her skirt while she's running and like see her underwear and everything. I was like, that's just a very weird touch for them to put on this game like it was, it was very strange checkmate thank you boy took the L what how did this damn before I knew it I already lost damn it she's one frigid beauty her eyelashes are so long they should be illegal <laughs> really looking like dude would you were you even focused on the match, bro? <laughs> Look, he, he, you're starting to drool. You can't afford to lose, Kurt. Understand? Don't worry. That's hilarious. There are no issues here. Maybe I was worried for nothing. The second match was uh, between a Kurt and Ada. After an intense opening, Kurt gained the upper hand by the end game. Check. Well played. I resign. Yeah, you did it, Kurt. Here I was thinking you might intentionally lose to me. Looks like you've uh, let go of what happened with His Highness. So insecure. It's time for the final match. Shall we begin? Yeah. <clears throat> what was that? Oh, haven't you heard? If he loses this friendly match, he's going to transfer to the main campus. Well, damn! 
What? <laughs> this is the first I've heard of it. Is this Prince Cedric's doing? No, no, it was simply our suggestion. But seeing as he didn't tell anyone, he must feel rather torn over it. Kurt, Kurt is tripping. The match between Kurt and Fritz was a long one. Fritz's power moves were slowly giving him the advantage. His power moves, really? Just one more push. Hey, he's not playing like he was earlier. Is he losing on purpose? He was supposed to be uh, to guard the Imperial family. I'm sure he'd take any excuse to return to his highness society. Ultimately, it's his decision. Kurt, listen to your heart. Do you really want to be... Do you really just want to be by his highness's side? Oh. What was I thinking? The real battle begins here. Like he just turned it on all of a sudden. I hope you're ready for me. Fine. Kurt began his counterattack. Using everything he had, he slowly started turning the board to his favor. Checkmate. Oh, damn it. Chess isn't exactly that game where you can, like, you can make some moves and kind of get yourself out of trouble, but you can't bounce back it, you know, just like that if you get your ass kicked. And <laughs> he came back from that? How cool is this guy? You win. I hadn't played it in a very, very long time. I, it's been at least 15 years <laughs> since the last time I played it. it yeah, it's been a minute. You had the perfect excuse. Are you sure this is what you want? I don't even remember most of the stuff. I don't know. But right now, what I need the most isn't being by his side. That's just the way I feel. Well, a loss is a loss. I suppose we'd just be on our way then. Well then, instructors Schwarzer, Sydney, Kurt, we should see you soon. Yeah, good luck with your classes at the main campus. Now if you'll excuse us. They're pretty respectable kids when they're, I mean, but it's like when they get around scissors, they're like, we're going to take these clowns down. And it's like, what? They return to the campus. Reen played a few games with the members of the chess club before he had on his way. All right. All right, Kurt. There's really nothing else left to say there. Um, I'm going to, we'll go ahead and go with, uh, Yuna next. <sighs> okay. Probably something to do with tennis here. Yeah. All right. Everything's set up for practice. Today's practice. By the way, Yuna, how's progress with that? With that one thing. It's just hard to find the right time, you know. Start making excuses like that, and you'll keep making them all the way up to graduation. That's definitely a possibility for this shy, moody little girl who hides her true feelings under a veil of anger. Shy? Feelings? Anger? <laughs> None of that's true, I think. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> what are you all talking about? Oh, uh, Instructor Ring. Oh, we were just giving her some advice. We've got a, an interleague game with another school, so we were just discussing how best to prepare for it. Oh yeah, I think I heard about that. Well, I'm glad to see you're all so serious about practice. Yeah, totally. So that means no men on the court. Shove off instructor ring. Uh, sure thing. Good luck, you three. Oh man. Oh, thank. I mean, thank you. Oh man. <laughs> Sheesh. An interleague game against uh, another school. I like to help out somehow if possible. Green ass is bored, bro. They're like super bored. Is there anything I can help you out with? I've gone over the basis of the game rules and how to use a racket, so I might be of some use in practice. You learn how to play like just like that for real. Well, in that case, you may be able to use your help after all. Oh yes. This may be a good opportunity in more ways than one. 
Actually, the match is going to be a doubles match, but we don't have enough members to practice that. Could we do a match uh, between I mean, with you and Yuna against Louise and me? All right, sounds good. I'd love to join. But you guys, come, come, Yuna. It's time to get ready. There's a chance you've been waiting for. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I think it, what it is they're trying to get her to apologize to Reen for the way she's been acting. Because she knows she's been being kind of a brat. <laughs> nice, you. You too. Embarrassment. But the game's not over yet. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> she just turned around and started back swaying sideways. <laughs> of course not. We won't lose either. Indeed. It's our turn now. Well, it's hilarious. They got their ass whooped. We did it. We won, you know. Jessica and Louise were pretty persistent, though. But I didn't expect you to be that good instructor ring. You said you just went over the basics, but did you actually practice like crazy or something? Well, just as much as I could with my free time. I knew that I'd need to be able to help out with uh, all of Class Seven's club activities. Wait, so that means chess, swimming, tea ceremonies, even writing? I don't think a normal instructor would go that far. They damn sure wouldn't. Well, it was only as much as I was able to practice, and only one at a time, so it wasn't a big deal. But I'm sure instructors Randy, uh, Toa, Randy, and Michael are all putting in just as much work as I am behind the scenes. All in order to support, uh, support you guys as you've grown over the uh, past few months. You know, you, you've grown a lot after the Crossville field exercises alone. Ah. Um, instructor? What is it? Um, well, hmm. Kurt and Allie are both growing a lot, too. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Kurt and, and Altina, as well as Ash and Muse. That's why we've got to put everything I have into being your instructor. Let's look out for each other. Right, you know? Okay, um, sure. God, it's just staying. It's just, it's weird for a while. With the doubles match having reached its conclusion, Reen heads off to another part of the campus. And opportunity missed. So you couldn't do it after all, even after all that help. Didn't you want to thank him for saving you back then? You said you wanted to thank him on behalf of your brother and sister too, remember? It's only going to get harder the longer you wait. You know that, right? I know, but it's already been so long, it'd be awkward to just bring it up. But thanks anyway, too. I'll do better next time. My word, it must be exhausting being so shy and booty. <laughs> right? I told you I'm not. <laughs> I know how she operates, man. Tell you that. Okay. Uh, next up, we're gonna go uh, with news day. <sighs> okay. Wait, is she? No, she's not there. Wait, what is that? What the hell is this all about? I came here to sharpen my sword skills, but Principal Le Guin was training too. Is this good luck or misfortune? Her presence is just so intimidating. <laughs> I'm about waiting out the room, outside the room scared as shit right now. <laughs> He's shaking like a rabbit sitting in front of a lion. This is hilarious. Alright, let's go in here and holler. Okay, okay. Getting in some sword training today, Principal? Of course, an unused blade will rust after all. By the by, you're still looking for a way to control your power, correct? I imagine this means sparring is off the table. You're right on all counts, I'm afraid. 
Nothing gets by this one, does it? Suppose it wouldn't. Which reminds me, I heard your sister Elise delivered you a letter from Yon Kafai. The infamous sword hermit. You know, I he heard that he and Master Arsaid once crossed swords. I've heard the same. They say that uh, there was no clear winner. I didn't say, but didn't say, uh, but that didn't matter. Both men were more enthralled by the fight than by victory. Clearly, we, we know similar storytellers. There are so many different martial arts, but when you trace them back to their roots, you can find a multitude of commonalities. Commonalities? Well, I guess someone who has mastered both the R State and Vander schools would know better than anyone. I wouldn't say I've mastered anything, though I suppose there aren't many who could reach the level I have. Which makes uh, which makes 100 form military combat a fitting choice for the Imperial Army. 100 form military combat. That style draws its 100 forms from the R. State and Vander School, right? Okay, that's a, that's, I don't remember hearing that. That's one of them, like, I'm really paying attention to that. I don't remember that ever coming up, uh, that what she's talking about with the combat style. I can't imagine it gets too much use on the battlefield but it seems like a smart martial art to teach soldiers. Indeed, if it's good enough uh, for the likes of Craig the Red Night and Nightheart the Mighty, it's good enough to, uh, for the rank and file. That's for sure. But I've rambled long enough. I want to see your branch campus style hunter form military combat in action. Huh? Wait, someone is out is someone outside? I know you can hear me, Wayne. Stop lurking and come in here. <laughs> I was saying, I can took it already. <laughs> Don't make me say it a second time. Oh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good luck, Wayne. You'll need it. Poor dude, bro. <laughs> He's scared shitless right now. The principal wants me to spar with her. My hand won't stop shaking. What she said by Wayne. What's the matter? Bring it on. It's funny as hell. She's like, I can hear you, Wayne. You're outside. Bring your ass in here. <laughs> Just hilarious. Sound like someone is using the firing range. That rifle sound sounds so familiar. Whoever it is, they're really going at it. Maybe I should take a look. Of course, it's Muse. Gotta be quiet so I don't interrupt. Should she put that up against her shoulder? I like the gun's kind of leaning a little bit. Ugh. I just cannot aim today. Perhaps next time will be better. I don't know. I was pretty uh, I was pretty impressed. I start to ring? Were well, you spying on me? You should have said something. Sorry about that. I just didn't want to distract you. It's rare to see you so focused. How about a break? Drinks on me. My, how's a girl supposed to say no to an offer like that? She got to turn everything into that, man. <laughs> that gun of yours is pretty unusual. That's a rhyme for arts rifle, right? That's right, state of the art, too. It's based on orbital staff technology. <clears throat> it can use normal bullets, too, of course. But because it's so different from any ordinary rifle, it's pretty hard to handle. Crap. Okay. Hold on one second. Adjust my headset here. It looks like all your shots hit the target. So I say is it's get passing marks. <clears throat> passing marks. Actually, wait. Are you saying you'd be an even better shot with an ordinary rifle? My grandfather used to take me with him on hunt on his hunting trips. I wouldn't call myself a seasoned veteran or anything, but I know my way around a firearm. Is that the same grandfather who loves kimonos and tea ceremonies? He's got some diverse interests. But what prompted you to start training on your own again? Isn't it obvious? I'm part of class 7 now. There's going to be a lot more combat than there was in military finance, and I want to be ready for it. And for what comes next. Comes next? Oh, it's nothing. Just a personal issue. Well, I need to get back to training. Thank you for the drink instructor ring. 
You say, if you don't mind, could I give you some pointers? Huh? Rifle classes were a part of my curriculum back at the main campus. While guns aren't exactly my specialty, I might be able to help out, at least for whatever comes next for you. Let's drop the ring. How about you put the, the stock up against your shoulder there? I thought you never asked. By all means, take me into your hands and mold me, Instructor Reen. That did not come out right at all. all right, Reen began to give Musa private rifle lessons. My God. He, <laughs> he took everything he learned from the main campus, applying it to their lessons. She loving that. Look at that. <laughs> He's looking like, oh shit, got too close. Alright, but it better be your cell phone poking her back there. Or else you're gonna catch, catch that charge. No muse ATs ring the whole way through. <laughs> Her skills gradually improve. Of course she did. And then. See, it feels like the rifle's kind of leaning. Like, leaning a little bit to the right. Ah, you hit a bullseye with every bullet. Way to go, Muse. I did, and I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Instructor, for spending all of that time with me. I feel as though I've improved tremendously, and I plan to apply everything I've learned in our future battles. Thank you again. I can't wait to see you in action. You're part of Class 7 now, and I expect nothing but the best. Good luck, Muse. Of course. All right. After that, Yuse told Reen that she wanted to do a little more training on her own and saw himself out. She hit him with the heat heat. Look at this. Yeah, see? Faking ass. Thanks to him, it feels like I never stopped hunting. I'm looking forward to more private lessons. Uh, instructor Reen, oh my God. Well, she, she, she's something, ain't she? You end up kind of like learning what all the her games and stuff are about as the game goes on. So, for now, just gotta kind of deal with it. Um, uh, hmm. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and, and do the other ones. Finally done. Are you doing well, Reen? I'm doing all right for myself. I just arrived in the capital this morning after wrapping up my inspection duties at Crossbell. I'm not sure what did me in, but I think it's finally hit me just how much work it, uh, it all is. Jesus, I'm getting so tongue-tied today. It'd be nice if we could talk about it more with you. If I could talk about it more with you. Think we could meet up? Inspections must have uh, taken forever for him. Even the way he writes sounds tired. I wonder what he wants to talk about. It sounds like he'd be better off resting. But if I don't meet today, I'll, it'll probably be a while till I can see him next. Alright, so we call Marcus. He's sleeping on the damn phone. Look at him. How you gonna answer the phone and then go to sleep? But, huh? Oh, it's you, Ring. Sorry, were you sleeping? Not intentionally, just nodded off at home. You got my orb mail then. If you're all set to meet, I'll head over to Lee. Oh, about that, I'll come to you instead. It's a quick enough uh, ride on the bike, and you just got back from a big trip. You should relax a little. Boy, I could use it, thanks, Ring. How about we meet up at the cafe in Plaza, uh, Plaza by Frost? Sounds good, I'll be there soon. It's hilarious. Boy, my boy answered the phone and was like, all right, I'm about to head on out. <clears throat> Load game? I just parked in the middle of the damn street. Hey there, Marcus. Sorry for making you wait. 
No worries. I just got here myself. Sorry for making you come all this way. Oh, not at all. I'm sure you're pretty pooped by now, too. Shall we? Yeah, let's go get some coffee. It'll be on me. <laughs> ah, coffee is the best. The subtle flavors of the coffee beans generally encapsulate my grogginess and fatigue. <laughs> what the fuck? Looks like you're, you're more into it than before. Governor Regnus likes it too, right? Yeah, father drinks over five cups a day. That is not healthy. After becoming a, full, a fully functioning member of society, I've come to appreciate the healing power of things like this. It seems, uh, it seems he's tired from more than just traveling across Bell. So what do you want to talk to me about? If there's anything I can help you with, I will. Mean, thank you. It's more like I have something I want to tell you. Something you want to tell me? During our inspection, a certain imperial company's name came up. They're a long-standing company that has been expanding since the Civil War. They recently opened, opened a branch office in Crossville. They're currently working with the IBC, an RF company, and they have a say in the management of Michelin Wonderland. This company was also involved in Operation Birdcage. What? Crap. Got something in my eye. My like eyelash. Ah. That being said, the lead was taken by Governor General Rufus, the Intelligence Division, and the RMP. But this company, tons of fishy rumors are swirling about them. Despite trade restrictions, they've been open and selling project, uh, products to Calvert by just changing the labels. They give kickbacks to the Imperial government for valuable information that they use to expand their stories. So they're in cahoots with the government. <laughs> cahoots. <laughs> Wait, this is a long established company? Do I know of it? Well, it's owned by the family of someone we know very well. Does the name Kleister Company uh, sound familiar to you? Kleist, I know that name. Freaking here we go. I couldn't believe it either, which is why I wanted to ask you. When we were on uh, the Courageous during the Civil War, he and Becky both helped us with supplies. Over the years since he graduated, what happened to him? <laughs> It's simply the result of my tireless pursuit of profit on behalf of the company. And there he is. You. Hugo. What a dork. Hey there, Reen. Haven't seen you since graduation. And it's been even longer than that for us, Machias. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd run into you two on a sales trip? Maybe us Thor's alums are just drawn to each other. <laughs> Hugo, is it true? This classic company working with the government? Yeah, it's true. Everything you guys were just talking about falls in line with the direction I set up while I was in school. But using dirty money and changing labels. I'm not aware of everything that goes on. I leave the decision making to my father and the people who actually work on the floors. I mean, to be honest, as a businessman, it would be stupid of me to not take on this opportunity, right? Hugo, are you really okay with this? Becky wouldn't. Sorry, I have some business meetings, so I must be going now. It was nice seeing you again. Until next time. As soon as they mentioned Becky, my boy got out of town. He's like, yeah, I'm out. I didn't think he'd just show up like that. But I guess that confirms it. Yeah. Uh, looks like he waited till graduation to show his true self. Seems you goes quite the businessman. Hey, don't compliment him. Our classmate has sided with the government. Well, Hugo made this decision after his experiences in the Civil War. 
you, me, the old class seven, we all made our own decisions. That's true. This is really complicated. I guess we'll just have to push on with what we just uh, decided to do. Things are tough for both of us, but let's each give it our all. I know each of you are working your hardest in your own ways. That's why I can't afford to give up. Maki is, yeah, me too. Let's do our best. Let's be, believe in our decision. I hate when the voice acting goes in and out like that. It's so damn weird. Alright, they enjoy some coffee before uh, going separate ways. Making some good progress with some speed here. Alright, and we're gonna, go, we're gonna jump straight into Lisa. I think you end up going into the keep with her. Yeah, I inhale keep. Good morning, Rain. I bet you're up bright and early. I'm on my way to Jirai with Sharon for our business trip. We'll be passing by Lee's, so maybe if I'm lucky, I'll catch you through. Uh, I'll catch you through the window. I wanted to ask you something too. The branch campus has a facility called Inhale Keep, doesn't? It? I've been curious uh, since I heard about it. I'd love to hear more about it from you sometime. A business trip to Jirai, huh? Her workload must be nuts. Then again, she's got Sharon, so I know she'll always be well taken care of. And I can see why she'd be curious about the keep too, with all that new technology involved. I could always show her the place if she has enough time to drop by leave. All right. Hi, Irene. It's always nice to hear from you. Uh, I'm glad I got your message, by the way, and I wanted to ask you something. If you got time before July, do you think you could stop by Leeds? I could, I could tell you, and it'd probably be better to show you to keep in person. You could do that? And yeah, that's true. Do you think it's okay, Sharon? There shouldn't be any problems with our schedule. There's nothing quite, uh, there's nothing, there's nothing quite like some quality sensual bonding to perk you right up before work. Sharon, well, there you have it. <laughs> We're not that far from Lee's right now. So I won't be long. Then I called you uh, right on time. I'll pick you up at the station. Rain then met up with Elisa and Sharon at the station. Alright. So this is Lee's. It's such a nice little place. Plus, I'm glad I get to see you again so soon, Rain. Yeah, it's good to see you too. And I hope you're doing well too, Sharon. Oh, I'm in perfect health. Thank you. My wounds have completely healed. I am simply glad to have been able to escort my lady back to your arms, Matt <laughs> Dream. That's quite enough, Sharon. Anyway, can you show us the way to keep? Sure thing. It's, it's at the branch campus. It's hilarious. Always teasing her. This is on Hellkeep. Our training session is scheduled here later today. So this is it, huh? It's just like I was told. Indeed, it would appear so. Um, out of curiosity, why do you want to see the keep so much? Well, it's true. I'm curious simply because it's state of our facility. But it seems this thing was made with rival technology. My mother saw to that. I guess she took on this project on her own in order to make Professor Schmidt uh, design a reality. Completely under the radar, just like with the new railway cannons. And you didn't know about it at all? It's embarrassing to admit, but no, not a thing. If something is crazy, what's so hit, what's hidden so well, I'm sure there are tons of nasty surprises lurking under the surface. Crap. Green, do you think I could try to keep too? I can understand that I don't know <clears throat> anything about something my family was involved with. 
I'm going to investigate the crap out of this place and catch up to Mother while I'm at it. <clears throat> Alright, Lisa. The new Class 7 has a test here uh, after this, but I'm sure it'll be fine if I talk to the professor. I'd like to uh, join you if you don't mind. That's my way of supporting you. I shall participate as well. After all, I will go through fire and water for you, my lady. Thanks, Rain. You too, Sharon. She said she'd go through fire and water, okay? Rain called the professor. Yada yada. He said yes. And we go in. Nothing too difficult about this. Just like the one with Laura. Okay, come on, Rain Sharon. Well, let's go. You got it. Let's get started. Nothing difficult about this at all. Just run straight through it. You got a couple of enemies here. I think there's a few you have to you have to fight. I don't think there's any treasure chest to get. Because it's just a quest anyway, so. Yeah, there you go. Oof, this is a good spot for a break. One last hurdle. No way they're stopping us. Get in my lady's way, I'll cut you down. This one's tough. Be careful. Nothing too difficult about this fight. Um, I think they're yeah they're weak to earth. So. I'm up. Second form. Damn. Marine, I'll put him down. Weaker Gale, basically. Shadow Stitch. My turn. You won't get away. Molten Storm. Now's our chance. Reed, let's go. Leave it to me. Huh. Let's go. Huh. He's out of there. Everyone okay? We did it. Yeah, we really earned that win. So that concludes the level 2 subroute. Well done, you two. Right back at you. I knew, never knew this place was so... Uh, there was so much... Okay, I never knew there was so much to Iron Hell Keep. Jesus, mad words. I get the basis of how it works. But there's a lot in here that's totally beyond me. It's an enigma. At least we were able to complete our goal. There's something so satisfying about seeing uh, lovers work together to solve problems. Lovers? No, we're not. Damn it, Sharon. <laughs> anyway, I really appreciate you taking uh, taking me through the keep like this. Thanks, Rain. My pleasure. Actually, Lisa, are you heading out right away? If you have some time, I'd like to show you around the branch campus. Really? Well, if you're offering, how could I resist? I still have some time before my train, and I'm curious about what your day-to-day -day is like. In that case, I'll excuse myself. Far be it from me to intrude on a romantic out outing for you two. Uh, actually, the offer stands for you too, Sharon. You're too kind. I'd actually intended to drop uh, in on my dear uh, fr old friend Celestine. Not to mention, I can't imagine you need a third not at this point in your relationship, anyway. <laughs> Sharon, <laughs> take all the time you need. You can find me when you're done. I think it's amazing, though, that they're like 20-something. Reen ain't, ain't uh, jumped on that yet, though, the way he needs to. Just when I think she's out of ways to embarrass me. On the bright side, it sound, sounds like we've got time for a full tour 
What do you say, Elisa? Let's go. After that, Rena and Lisa walked around the school, all the while reminiscing about their time at Thor's. Holding hands. <laughs> Did she have to flip her hair? <laughs> I can't get enough of this atmosphere here. It makes me feel like I'm back at the branch campus. Yeah, me too. Even if it's a new building and a new location, Thor's is still Thor's. Yeah, you said it. With the keep and all the facilities here, it's clear my mother was involved to some degree. That, yeah, I, I can agree there. You weren't even told about the keep, all right? Am I, uh, you weren't even told about the keep, right? Does that mean you don't get certain information even as project manager of the development division? I'm sure if I had seen through it and grilled her on the matter, mother would have told me. But each production division is independent of others and each has their own projects to deal with. Ever since the Civil War, the whole company got bigger even it was, even if, even, okay. Ever since the Civil War, the whole company got bigger, making it even more difficult to see the big picture. Jesus, man. You know what it is? I'm, I'm tired. I, it's been a long day. I think that's what it is. The new railway cannons, for example. By the time Grandfather and I have even heard of them, development was already underway. That's kind of frightening. Granted, the fourth development division has its own share of top secret projects it's working on there too. But even so, I don't approve of mother green lighting projects like the railway cannons and the keep. Lately, it's been feeling like she's even more distant than usual. Sorry. Sorry about that. I was just venting. I feel a little better now. I can't even talk to Sharon about this kind. See, he does stuff like that dude be tripping, bro. Oh, you'll be all right, Alisa. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into your work at the Riper Group. And because of all that, you became the project manager in a single year, right? So hold your head up high. We, I, know how hard you've been working. But whenever you start to feel, feel worried, I'll always be here to listen to, to you vent. We've got the round of seven now too. <laughs> so if that takes, uh, if that takes some of the weight off your shoulders, then. <laughs> Gosh, don't spoil me too much or I'll get used to it. Yes, please don't. But please just let me do this for now. That's all I need. It makes me feel like I can keep going. She, I'm telling you, she's the only one that has scenes like that where she like gets very intimate with him or attempts to. Elisa, of course. She just sitting there chilling. After a little while, the two pulled away from each other. Sharon then appeared to notify them of the train. Yeah. Still got the rosy cheeks. I wonder what kind of girl talk they have. Like, Alisa, are you going to burn me? <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? Oh, Sharon's almost there. All right, so we are done with all of the bonding missions. Um, I'm trying to think. I know there is a hidden quest. I'm trying to think of what it is. Uh, you know what? I think it's in the clubhouse. As a matter of fact. Uh, and it is. No. Let's go downstairs. Nope.
I see something. Oh, okay, yeah. Now, he, uh, if you talk to Stark there, you do get to play Vanish Masters against him. Oh, I didn't, I didn't run y'all through that. Um, I, I'll tell you guys who you need to talk to th today as well to get the um, their page things. The reason why uh, most of them I, I didn't say it uh, was because. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see what the hell this place is. Where I think you're supposed to talk to was it Stark? I don't know. Or was it on see, tennis club? Swimming. Training. Swimming down there. One of these I can't think which one it is. Fine range. Oh, I think it's the tea. The tea ceremony. Um, where the hell is this place? Nope, that is swim pool. Yeah, the white back over here. I am getting lost as hell right now. Um <laughs> Where is, wait, literature, chess, band, yeah, there it is, okay, man, I don't think I can keep this up, it won't be good news for Muse, but I might need to start, uh, consider transferring, <laughs> Kari, you say something about transferring, um, well, I was thinking about quitting the tea ceremony club. Really? Why? I joined this club because I wanted to become more manly. But I haven't been getting the results I was hoping for. <laughs> you joined the tea club to become manly? <laughs> I don't really understand his logic. If you want to do something else, I want to stop you. Well... <laughs> <laughs> You have to forgive me on that one. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I haven't really decided what to switch to. I do have some reservations, though. Tea ceremonies? Oh, my God. In that case, Kyrie doesn't seem to have a grasp on the tea ceremonies. I might be able to help him a little. Pour tea for Kyrie. All right. If you don't mind, Kyrie, allow me to pour some tea. The reason why I'm showing these is because this is, these are the missions where he helps individual students at the school and they they are like kind of um a part of the story in the in in a way so this at least gives you kind of a hint into their character a little bit uh so reen is i guess to helping him at how to actually do the tea ceremony there's a puts apparently some special way to go about it all right let's get started before you have tea have some sweets right if I remember correctly, uh, I think it's um, eat everything, if I'm not mistaken here. So he took his time, Kai finished all of the dumplings. Thank you. You're welcome. Well done. Yeah, so it was eat everything. All right, so part two, preparing to drink the tea. Please have some tea before it gets cold. Thank you. Instructor Ring's tea is exquisitely delicate. I forgot to do this before having the sweets, uh, but I'm supposed to bow head for grace. Thanks to the heaven and the goddess. Uh, praising the heavens and the goddess before drinking the tea. Well done. Alright, after drinking the tea. Thank you, that was delicious. You're welcome. What do I do after I finish drinking? Uh, I think you wipe it the cup with the fingertips. Yeah. And then, okay, yeah. That was perfect. Alright. Good job, Kyrie. That was amazing. 
to be honest, I didn't expect you to know all that. Uh, thank you. I mean, I really had to think hard to the, find the answers. <laughs> what? And Stratherine, your tea was truly amazing. And the way you carried yourself was very cool. It was a good reminder that tea ceremonies aren't just for women. Yes, that's right. And many aspects of tea ceremonies carry over to martial arts. You say mention that too. I'm having a hard time grasping that concept. Well, let's see. You said you want to be more manly. Why is that? Uh, I guess I just want to emulate my father. My father is very masculine and is a skilled swordsman. Having been my hero his entire life. I see. Kari also comes from the family of a baron. That reminds me of my dad. But I take after my mother more. I was always teased for being girly. That's it. That being said, I'm well aware that everyone has things they are more or less suited for. Which is why I got interested in tea ceremonies. I thought it could discover my inner man. I don't know about that, bro. But I guess I wasn't suited for this either. You make it look easy, but don't be so hard on yourself. I actually think you've gotten manlier since you first came here. I don't know, bro. <laughs> huh? I can sense your growth as a, the leader of the medical team. Everyone relies on you during the field exercises. At the very least, you seem very manly to me. Oh. I think you're just focusing uh, too much on your appearance and not enough on your actions. This is true. You said it yourself. You want to empower, uh, find your inner manliness, right? In that sense, I think the tea ceremony club is perfect for you. Practice the procedures until you can routinely perform them without any wasted movements. It's similar to martial arts. When you hone your skills, you will gain confidence. At least, that's what I think. Mastering the art of tea ceremonies will make me more confident. You're right. Uh, I have a better understanding of it now. That's great. Instructor Ring, thank you for all your help today. I'm going to take back what I said about trying to I'm a proud clothes. Erebonian man. Oh, wow. He said it like that. I'm a proud Erebonian man and I'm going to find my own manliness. At least I'll do my best. I, I hope the kid hits puberty soon, because that voice, no. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, the kid is going to be, yeah, I don't know. All right, so that's a hidden quest there. Um, It's not really hidden. Uh, he has a little thing out there, but, I mean, it's an extra quest, other than the ones that you have uh listed here. So... Get some, e uh, some easy AP out of that. Alright, and I'm going to end here. Yeah, and then when we come back, we'll be actually... I think we gotta do all the hanger and keep stuff. Basically all the stuff we have to do to train. And, um, yeah, we'll be getting back on with the main story. But thank you guys for rocking with me. I hope you guys enjoyed these fun events. Some of this shit is hilarious. Um, but thank you guys as always. Uh, if you're new to the channel, tap that like button subscribe come back for some more i'll see you guys in the next one peace